Are you ready to experience the feeling of piercing clarity, lucid in every single way? The feeling of a very spacious mindset? That's good. And you're gonna love this video because today I'm gonna be sharing with you three steps to creating instant peace of mind. The first thing we need to understand though is you have to begin to think quite differently about what peace is. And I guess that brings up the whole point, what is peace anyway? I mean, peace is a word that is so overused, especially in our spiritual, the spiritual culture of today, that I really honestly, I'm not even entirely sure I understand what it is myself, at least not in terms of the way other people think about it. So I'm gonna define peace for you. Peace is spaciousness. It's like going from a place where you have a real cluttered mind, a busy mind, to feeling very spacious, clear, Peace is the opposite of negative, a negative down trending emotion. Like instead of feeling anxious or stressed out, peace is, ah, everything's good. Everything's good. It's a real chill mindset. And so here, let's go ahead and jump right in. Before I talk, give you these three principles though, and I need you to hang on because the last principle could possibly be the very most important one that will change your life forever. You, ha But before we do that, you have to begin to change the way you think, guys. The bottom line is this, the vast majority of the thoughts we have are unimportant. The vast majority of the thoughts that you have are not essential to your existence in any way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, we would just call them useless. Most of us feel like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Like one minute we're like, my precious. And the next minute we're like, no, Master Nice. No, Master Trixie. We're going back and forth in this way. Our mind is jumping from one thing to another. And we might call that mindfulness discursive thoughts or the monkey mind that's jumping from one branch to the next branch to the next branch from one thought to the next to begin to learn how to fix this issue we have to learn how to first eliminate the thoughts that are unimportant and so this brings me to the very first step decide what thoughts are important to you there's this old 80 20 rule and that is basically that 20 percent of your of your thoughts cause like 80% of your issues? Or is it the other way around, 80%? Whatever, you guys get the drift. The bottom line is this, like 80% of your thoughts are useless. They're, not, they're unimportant. You might have 20% of your thoughts. And so if we can, that, that are actually important, that are actually productive, that are actually being used by your body and, 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 and to uh, improve your life and the enjoyment that you're having of life. So if only 20% are responsible for that and the other 80% are just discursive thoughts, we need to learn how to eliminate that 80% that's affecting you, that's causing problems. And so you must decide what thoughts are important. Is it really important what's going on in your neighbor's life? I mean, to think, well, I wonder why my neighbor's trimming his bushes that way. Is that an important thought? I tell you, one of the things that has helped me dramatically is to just stop giving a fuck about what everybody else is thinking, to stop caring what my neighbors are doing or what this person's doing or what that person's doing about what the people on that boat across the way, oh my God, I wonder if they have life vests on. That would be a discursive thought, right? And so we need to recognize there are a lot of thoughts that we're having that are just unimportant. When you find out which thoughts are important to you, guess what? You can begin to make the change and when you eliminate those 80%, you immediately have a spacious mind and you'll experience more peace of mind. Second step is, and this is a tough one, this is a tough one for a lot of people, is to let go of judgment. How do we let go of judgment? Our lives are consumed by meaningless judgments of others. You walk into the street, 
a thought goes through you. You're looking at uh, another lady walking by. You're like, oh my gosh, did you see the way she was dressed? Did you see the shoes she was wearing with that outfit? They didn't go at all. That's a judgment that is not only taking up space in your mind, but it's a useless thought. It's not benefiting you. It's not benefiting her. It's not benefiting humanity in any way, shape, or form. Why in the fuck are you caring what somebody else's shoes look like anyway, right? And so time to let go of those judgments. And some of us need to let go of the judgment of the person that's making those judgments. Like it just doesn't matter. It's not adding to you. So as a rule of thumb, if it's not adding to my life, why participate in it? What somebody else is saying or doing is irrelevant to my existence in the sense that it's not impacting me unless I give what they're saying or what they do what they're doing the permission to impact me if that makes sense to you number three here's the last one the last thing possibly the most important is to learn to let go of control that's right the vast majority of us are living trying to control our lives we think that if we really we really think that we can control what's going on take a lesson from the lake behind me guys can see it very good. Let's just walk over here. Then it's late. Nothing in nature is ever trying to control anything. It is effortlessly existing. Effortlessly unfolding. Isn't it? Powerful. Powerful. The bottom line is you really don't control anything outside of the way that you feel about it. The only thing that you really control is the way that you feel, the way that you think, and the way that you act in response to the things that are unfolding, in response to the conditions. But you don't control the conditions. So why are you putting a bunch of effort into trying to control the condition? Instead of putting the effort into trying to control the condition, just start putting that same attention, that same effort into controlling the way you think about it. When you put the energy into controlling the way that you think about what's going on, then the way that you feel will change. And then immediately following that, the way that you act or respond to the situation will begin to change. The bottom line is this. The only thing we control is the way we think about what's going on in the world around us. And so if you practice these three steps, you will immediately begin to feel more at peace, a more spacious mind, more clarity of thought, and you will flat out begin to enjoy your life so much more. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and click like. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And uh, remember one last thing, the more you awaken, the more you play.